other yellow hat guy here back with another video and today I want to talk to you about internet now um, what took me a while to learn was you can pre-record videos you upload and you know all videos are pre-recorded as in you know hey you record the video and upload it unless it's live right well what I used to do was you know record the video and try to upload it in that moment now uh, channels tend to do that that are news or gossip channels because you want to be you know as current as possible but unless this is your full-time gig you may not be able to really do that or especially if you don't have really good internet or really fast internet but what is really good really fast internet really the internet is like the air you know you just breathe it <sighs> that's that's the internet uh, I don't mean the actual act of using the internet, but access to it. It's all around you. It's a, a signal, you know? So when these companies are like, we've got higher speed internet versus this other company, it's like, no, the, the, the internet is the air. So what you're doing is you're, you're limiting the amount of air someone can breathe. You're throttling the internet. So you're telling somebody if they pay more, we won't cap it as much. It's not that you increase it. So when you've got a cable cord, thicker cable cords give you maybe more channels or better quality than thinner cable cords. But it's all still cable. So if you don't care about the quality of it, it's not like you should pay more to have access if it's just one cord. Uh, I'm getting off point, but what I'm trying to get at is right now I don't have internet. So you're like, well, how is he uploading these videos? Well, I'm using, I'm using my cell phone and a personal hotspot to upload videos. So I say all that to say I have Sprint for my cell phone. Sprint being, you know, if you live in the U.S., one of the major uh, mobile carrier uh, companies. They're up there. And in terms of quality not going to say too much about that in case they're watching, but what they did do was look out for me. Uh, the other companies you've got are Verizon, you've got AT&T, Sprint merged with T-Mobile, and they're right underneath them. So sometime soon that merger should be uh, official if it's not already. But what they did was they, con they upped my personal hotspot from 10 gigs a month to 50 gigs. And I don't use that much personal hotspot, if at all. You know, earlier this year, I had a measly 2 gig plan that was $30 a month, no hotspot, and it was a struggle just to keep things under that. I wasn't watching any videos uh, unless I was on Wi-Fi. And most of the time, you know, you're at a day job. You're not using uh, Internet like that unless you have a quick break for lunch or, you know, maybe the company has Wi-Fi. But my point is, I wasn't using but maybe two and a half gigs at most. I was very strict, you know, on a budget with my data. So uh, now I'm at 50 gigs, and that's an early Christmas gift. I have neglected to turn the internet back on because I'm like, well, I'll just use it for whatever device I want to use, watch what I want to watch, uh, and still be somewhat conservative. I'm still able to upload these videos and download as long as I'm not downloading, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. I should be fine. And now I'm going to just try that out. So what am I really getting at? So you have a company called Spectrum. Spectrum provides cable to a lot of people. Cable, uh, internet, and home phone. I don't like Spectrum. I'm going to tell you why. So long and short, Spectrum absorbed Time Warner Cable, who I really have the problem with. Time Warner Cable, they're the ones constantly hyping up you know, a lot of companies do this, but they did it way back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean uh, up to 10 years ago, I'd say. They would constantly boast, hey, we offer um, 20 or up, you know, when other companies weren't given that much. 20 or up, meaning 20 uh, millibops, MPBS uh, or MBPS. Long and short, they would constantly brag on different things and charge outrageous fees for internet They'd lock you down in these contracts, and it was just ridiculous to where I was like, look, I'll never get with these guys, never again. But uh, some people, depending on where they live, that's their only choice. 
Now, FCC regulations prohibit uh, certain areas from having monopolies, but if you live in the sticks or in the country or whatever, you might be relegated to only using that provider because that's all that's around, you know? So long and short, uh, I keep getting solicited from Spectrum. They keep sending me letters on, you know, hey, we have this offer, we're going to give you this kind of you know, gift card and blah, 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 and I keep throwing them away because I see through what they're doing. You know, it's like, just give them a shot. It's like, no. I've got North State for internet where I live. $30 a month, $36 after taxes. That's enough for me. Is it the best internet? Probably not because I'm on the, you know, most affordable plan. They tell me every time I threaten to leave that, hey, we'll lower it. This is the best plan right now. We don't typically offer this, blah, 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 blah. Try that. You got a bill collector who you feel like you're paying too much or it's not justified. Tell them you're going to look elsewhere and they may try to work with you. Most will. You're not going to be able to do that with electricity or gas or whatever. But all they can do is say no. The best case scenario is they do do something, you know, a digital bill instead of paper and they save you five bucks or whatever. But just try that. So getting back to what we're talking about, Spectrum. Spectrum typically gives you cable. They try to give you these bundles where you get uh, the cable channels and the internet. The cable and the internet are the same thing. It's a cable. You know, you've got DSL internet, but cable internet, which is what they offer, should be better than the DSL. It's the same source. But what they really want is to keep the dying dinosaur of cable television uh, alive by packaging it, it, packaging it with other options such as the cell uh, the it's not cell phone the uh digital phone and uh you know the internet so what i got here is the latest solicitation here and what they're offering me is spectrum lifestyle tv and internet for 59.98 no contract roughly 60 dollars 65 dollars uh, a month and i get tv and internet i don't really need cable i don't uh, cable outside of sports is not something I really have the time to watch. I'm watching YouTube, or Netflix, or Hulu. That's just more viable of an option for me. So I don't really need that. But um, what they're saying here is uh, no data caps, 100 MP, uh, MBPS speeds. So I'm like, you're capping it. You can't, you know, increase internet. It's there. Uh, HD channels and all this and all that. Call us, limited time offer. And I started to do it. I was like, well, you know, I could do that for a couple months. Because that could be cheaper than what I may owe on my actual cable bill. Or my, uh, excuse me, internet bill now. You know, let's say I let it go for two, three months. And uh, that's $60. Well, Instead of paying that, or not 60, let's say it's 90 or 120. You know, they cut me off after four months, hypothetically. This would be, you know, a way to get internet back on for the time being until I had enough money to pay the 120 or whatever for my internet bill. Hmm, should I do that? But in the long run, you're going to have to cancel this and then go back to... uh, the other bill, I'd have to go back to North State. and Maybe North State wouldn't offer me that cheap plan anymore. You just don't know how that plays out. But here's what was interesting. At the very bottom, it says, ask about how you can save up to 40% on your mobile bill when you switch to Spectrum Mobile. The heck is Spectrum Mobile? Spectrum Internet subscription required. So you got to have the Spectrum Internet in order to get the Spectrum Mobile deal going on. But it's like, well, why would you need both? That's my whole point of this video. Why do you need both? What is Spectrum Mobile? So the crux of this video is, outside of me rambling, Verizon made a deal where Verizon can now give internet to people. They've got their own internet company, and Spectrum is wanting to have access to giving out data plans for the phone. So that was their way. I don't know how that happened, where Spectrum could lock down an area, but they're like, hey, Verizon, we'll let you in if you let us in the mobile sector. So uh, what do you think of that? Do you have Spectrum Mobile? Is that something that interests you? 
I don't know how I feel about it. I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, but give me some feedback if this is something you already have because that was a catch there that in very small print I was interested in before reading it. And then after I'm like, oh, now that I know what Spectrum Mobile is, maybe I need to stay away from that unless I hear some reviews first. Um, strange times we're in as, as far as what can be said and done on the internet. Uh, Spectrum being a conglomerate of what Time Warner used to be, Time Warner being in bed with AOL, Warner Brothers, Ted Turner, TNT, TBS, all that. It's like everything is eating uh, other businesses and becoming a, a bigger business. And this right here, uh, it's like, hey, it's more competition, which could be good. But if they can't have cheaper prices, then it's like, mm, what's going to be happening in the future? So let me know if you made it to the end of this video. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, comment and subscribe if you can. I'll see you in the next video.